Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Reduce stutters in Microsoft Flight Sim by running in high priority mode. More importantly, how to run in high priority mode every time you start the sim. Coming up on today's episode of 2020 Flight Simmers. Welcome back. Before we jump into today's video, I would first like to discuss why you want to run Microsoft Flight Sim in high priority mode. What this will do is it will prioritize Microsoft Flight Simulator over any other background processes, thus helping to reduce stutters and improve input latency. In today's video, we will be going over two ways in which you can run Microsoft Flight Simulator in high priority mode. The first way is going to be a manual way, and this will have to be done every time you boot up the sim. Now, if you are someone who has never used high priority mode in Microsoft Flight Simulator, I just want to say that your results may vary. Every system is different, so it's always best to test this out in manual mode first before we jump into the second way, which is going to be more of a set it and forget it. Set it and forget it. You just set it and forget it. You just set it and you forget about it. Method of enabling high priority mode or Microsoft Flight Simulator. So what that means is every time you load up the simulator for method number two, it will automatically start it in high priority mode. If you have any comments or questions along the way today, please post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back with you. If the video helps you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. It is greatly appreciated. So the first thing I want to show everyone is that I am running Microsoft Flight Simulator in the background. The next thing that we're going to do is enable high priority mode the manual way. To do this, we're going to hit Control Alt Delete on your keyboard and we're going to open the Task Manager. Once you have Task Manager open, at the very top we have a bunch of tabs or menus. We will click on the Details tab and then you're going to scroll all the way down until you find Flight Simulator.exe. This is Microsoft Flight Sim executable file. We will left click to highlight and then right click to open up a new menu. In this menu, you will see Set Priority. This is where we can set the priority of Microsoft Flight Simulator. And as you can see, it is automatically started into normal priority mode. What you would want to do is just tick on High Priority Mode and then you will select the Change Priority. Now, to verify that we are running in high priority mode, we can right click again, go down to set priority, and now you see we are in high priority mode. Now, one thing to note here is do not check real time priority mode. If you check real time priority, this very well may give you crashes to desktop or could also increase the amount of stutters that you have. Now that you're in high priority mode for Microsoft Flight Simulator, now you can jump back in the sim and test your results. If you find that you are getting much less stutters and a much smoother gameplay, now we can move into method number two, which is our set it and forget it method of running Microsoft Flight Simulator in high priority mode. Before we jump into method number two, I just have one disclaimer. We will be using the system registry editor so it is going to be very important that you follow all the instructions exactly as I do and do not skip ahead. It's also going to be very important that you do not adjust anything other than what I show you in this section of the video. We will also create a backup to our system registry. So if you do accidentally switch something you weren't supposed to, you will be able to revert back. So now with that out of the way, let's jump into method number two. The first thing that we need to do is in the details tab in the task manager, we need to copy down the flight simulator.exe executable file. Now this is going to be very important that you copy this down exactly as it is written. So you are going to have a capital F and a capital S when you copy this down. We're going to need this later once we jump into the system registry editor. I'm also going to exit out of Microsoft Flight Simulator at this time 
Now when you exit out of Flight Simulator, you will see the flightsimulator.exe file drop off of your Task Manager Details tab. That's why it was important to get that information first before you exit the sim. So now that we have this, we can exit the Task Manager. We're next going to go down to the search bar and just start typing Registry. You will see it pop up at the very top. We're going to left click on that. If this is your first time opening the system registry editor, it may look a little daunting to you. But don't worry, we're going to go over everything step by step so you won't run into any issues. Now before we get into making any changes to the system registry, we want to make a backup file first. To do that, we want to make sure that you highlight your computer, so left click there. You also want to make sure that computer is highlighted in the address bar at the top. Once that is done, we're going to go up to File, and then we're going to click on Export. For demonstration today, I will just store this file on my desktop by clicking the desktop icon, and then we're going to give it a file name. So I'm just going to call it Reg Backup 3. Below the file name, we have Save as Type. You want to leave this as Registration Files. And then below that, for Export Range, you want to make sure that you tick All. From here, we want to go over, click the Save button, and you can see it has created the backup file on my desktop. So now let me show you real quick on how to restore the backup file. Again, we will go up to the File menu. We will go to Import. You will go down to your desktop. You'll find that file name and then click Open. When you click Open, it will ask again, are you sure you want to do this or copy the files? You will select Yes and then it will restore all of your previous registry. So now with that out of the way, let's get into how to permanently start Microsoft Flight Simulator in high priority mode. Another side note for this section of the video, there will be a copy and paste section down in the description. So if you would like to just copy and paste all of this information, you have it down there to do so, and this way you won't have any spelling errors. So the first thing we're gonna do is copy and paste the address that I have down in the description, and then you're gonna hit enter. This will open the image file execution options below. We wanna highlight the folder by left clicking on it, and then right click. We're gonna go down to new, and we're gonna select new key. Here is where we're gonna enter Microsoft Flight Simulator executable file. This is the file name that I told you to copy down in the Details tab in the Task Manager. So we're going to do that right now. Remember that when inserting the Flight Simulator.exe, you want to make sure that you input this exactly as you copied it down. Once that is done, we can just hit enter. Now that you have created the flight simulator.exe folder, you want to highlight this folder by left clicking on it, and then we will again right click, select new, and we will create another new key. This folder, we are going to call it perf options. Again, make sure you copy this exactly as I have it in this box. Once you have that typed in, hit the enter button on the keyboard, and it should highlight the perf options folder for you. If perf options is not highlighted at this point, we can left click on that to highlight, and then over on the right hand side of the page, we're going to right click, select new, go down to DWORD 32-bit value, and we are now gonna call this CPU priority class. Again, copy this and input exactly as I have it. So the last step is just to double click on the CPU priority class we just created, and we're gonna change the value to a value of three. We're gonna hit OK, and you are done with the registry editor. There's no save button or anything that you need to do from here. All we gotta do is to exit the program. So now what I'm gonna do is open up Microsoft, and now I wanna show you that it is running in high priority mode as soon as we start up the simulator. Again, we need to open our task manager, so control alt delete, open task manager, head over to the details tab, 
find flight simulator, left click to highlight, right click, go down to set priority, and there you go. You can see we have started Microsoft Flight Simulator in high priority mode. And now if for some reason you do want to revert back, all you have to do is import your saved registry file and it will revert back to the way it previously was. All right, so that's going to wrap us up for today's video. Thanks everybody for joining us. If you have any comments or questions, please post them down below in the comments section and I'll get right back to you. If the video helped you out, be sure to hit that subscribe, tick on that little bell, and smash that thumbs up button. To all my flight simmer friends around the world, keep the blue side up, and we will see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody.